Hi friends, welcome to King Queen Info. We'll watch the video. Before that, press the subscribe button and you get the notification. Press the bell icon too. In this video, we are going to know about the basic of geography. Geography was initiated by Chester Carlson in 1938. First charging, the second one is imaging, the third one is expose, the fourth one is development and the fifth one is transfer, the sixth one is fusing and the final seventh one is cleaning. These seven steps are the basic process in geography. Before that, we need to know inkjet printing technology at 1950, laser printing technology at 1969 and digital printing technology at 1991. In this video, we are going to watch analog technology friends. Now we are know about the seven steps. Step 1. Charging or charge function. In this step, the photoreceptor drum is uniformly charged with positive charge with the help of charge corotron or bias charge roller. You can see the open photoreceptor here. Step 2. Imaging function. In this step, exposure lamp glows and illuminates the original document placed on the document glass. The image of the original document in the form of light is produced which falls onto the first mirror, gets reflected falls onto the second mirror, gets reflected falls onto the third mirror, gets reflected and passes through the lens where it gets reduced or enlarged and falls onto the fourth mirror. Step 3. Exposure or Expose In this step, the uniformly charged photoreceptor drum is exposed to the document image in the form of light reflected from the fourth mirror. Wherever the light falls onto the photoreceptor non-image area, photoreceptor drum is discharged and where light does not fall image area on document, charge remains as it is. This charged image on the photoreceptor, which is invisible, is known as latent image. If your original document is white or blank, wherever the light falls onto the photoreceptor non-image area, the photoreceptor drum is discharged fully. If your original document is full black, image area on document is full black. So where light does not fall onto the photoreceptor drum, so all charge are as it is. Step 4. Development In this step, the charged latent image is developed with the help of toner. Wherever charge is there on the photoreceptor, the negatively charged toner is attracted and gets stuck on the same. This is analog technology friends. So it is charge area development CAD. Thus the invisible charged latent image is developed into a visible toner image on the photoreceptor. In this development process they are using Coulomb's law. Coulomb's law a law stating that like charges repel and opposite charges attract with a force proportional to the product of the charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. If your original document is white or blank, the photoreceptor drum is discharge full. In this case, toner will repel, not attract. If your original document is full black, the photoreceptor drum is fully charged. So in this analog technology, it called CAD, charge area development. So the negatively charged toner is attracted, gets stuck on the same. Step 5. Transfer function. In this step, the copy paper is positive charged with the help of transfer corotron. The toner image from the photoreceptor is transferred onto the paper. Step 6. Fusing. The toner image transferred onto the paper from photoreceptor if rubbed gets removed. The paper having loose toner image on its passed between heat and pressure roller. Because of high temperature of the heat roller, toner melts and gets into the pores of the paper. Pressure roller aids the same. Thus the toner image gets permanently fixed onto the paper. Step 7. Cleaning. After transfer function, some charge and toner remains on the photoreceptor which is called residual toner or residual charge. Before new cycle starts, the photoreceptor is to be discharged totally and also residual toner is to be removed completely. 
so that we do not get previous copy impression on the second copy. With the help of cleaning blade or cleaning roller, residual toner is cleaned and with the help of pre-cleaned corotron or pre-charge erase lamp, residual charge is neutralized. This is called cleaning function. Thanks for watching this video. If you like the video, thumbs up and you have any doubt, please comment and share. And once again, subscribe my channel too. Teaching is the royal way to learn. Bye bye. See you friends.